Okay, welcome everyone to State of the Game for the 20th of October. It's 20th of October today, right? I think so. 2016? I yeah, always I get it so. wrong. Uh, yes, thank you, Peter, for changing to this camera because I don't want people to be distracted by Drew's biceps while we get the information <laughs> out there that's important. All right, focus. Focus on me for a bit. These guys, we'll, we'll get to them in a second. Look, I'm not going to be that guy who's like, wait around to the end of the stream for some important news because, well, I could do that, but then you're waiting for half an hour while you try and get what you came here for. What you came here for is a release date for 1.4. That release date is next Tuesday. Yes. Yes. 25th of October. Finally. 25th of October. Okay, guys. 25th of October, all platforms, free for everyone. That's it. Yeah. So yeah. Gonna be a, the, the maintenance time, <laughs> just so you guys know, will be 9.30 to 12.30. So a three-hour maintenance, but it's kind of shifted by half an hour from what mm -hmm. our usual. But it's on a Tuesday, not a Thursday. So mm -hmm. the 25th, not the 27th. It's not coming in November. All right, people, people can see that. They're not, not printing yeah. out. Great. Good, uh, good. I don't have the patch size on PC, but just to give you guys an indication, on PS4, it's 11 gigs. And on Xbox One, it's looking to be about 5.7 gigs. So uh, I don't know what that means for PC, but we'll find that out, and I'll, I'll get that information out to you guys as soon as I can. All right, now we can uh, now cut we can to relax. everyone. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean for the rest of the stream? Well, I mean, first, if you guys haven't been here before, Drew and Frederick are both senior game designers on the team. Uh, and you guys have been heavily involved in the PTS. Yes. Yep. Right? Indeed. Uh, yes. How is it uh, feeling to get finally locked down on what we're going to be releasing next Tuesday? It, it's a relief, and I'm just glad that people can start playing 1.4 and not be in 1.3, but at the same time, it's just like the start of ongoing work. Exactly. Yeah, um, we'll get to that um, in a second, because what I want to do today is kind of talk back on that whole process of the PTS that's new for us. All right. It's already happened. I'm being told not to mention the patch size, but it's already happened. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> I, I, yeah, okay. That, that's what happened. All right, we haven't mentioned it for PC, so I mean... All right, we're just gonna take a little break here. <laughs> and figure out what to do next. No, the patch okay. will have a, a size. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Patch will be of a size that you download and then you will be updated to 1.4. Mm -hmm. Disregard what I said. Uh, I'm not fired. The people who told me that information will be fired. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> All right. Um, so there are some small changes from the PTS, from week four of the PTS to live. Not many. A lot of bug fixing and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, the biggest one, in my opinion, is the, um, the loot in Underground. Uh, we were seeing a lot of purple drops and that sort of thing. I know um, that was kind of a little bit strange. There will now be a higher chance for high ends from those veterans and elites, right? Yep. yep. So that obviously caters more towards the hard and challenging modes. Sure other than the normals, so, but that's exactly. cool. Uh, and a lot of ballistic shield fixes, which is really, really nice. Yes. Yeah, and just now, generally functionality fixes like that, but otherwise, PTS4, what they played is pretty much yeah. what they're going to see. Exactly. exactly. Um, I, and this is for the podcast, so you can hear it. That's 21 pages of patch notes. Um, we're not going to go through <laughs> those today, but you will be able to find these uh, uh, online. Um, I think exclamation patch notes will get you to either these ones or the last ones, but we'll update that command and chat for you. But yeah, I'm not going to do it again. I can read through 21 pages of patch notes. That's uh, and the, uh, unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. The, the amount of stuff we did for this patch. There's a lot. And this isn't even like, the, these are the, the key points that people want oh, to yeah. Obviously, there's, we yeah. could have made this 100 pages with things like uh, nav mesh fixes. <laughs> like, yeah. like, all these little things. Like, how, how many bugs yeah. did we end up fixing? Something thousands. like thousands, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thousands of bugs. Exactly. Which is yeah. not something to be, you know, Proud that they existed, but we're really <laughs> proud of the quality that we're putting out and, and yeah. like the said, gameplay. A lot of those range yeah. from you know things that we have talked about to, to things like moving small things. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, there's a, a lot of tweaks, annoyances. There is a lot. Uh, is Yannick chilling with Chuck Norris? Um, yes, yes, yes. That's that's why he's not here today. Um, Okay, so, so for you guys, how, one of the questions that I wanted to ask you is how did this whole PTS process, which is the first time we've done it for The Division, and the first for a Ubisoft game, actually, how did that yeah. change the way you guys work? It was <laughs> yeah, kind of different to what we've done before. You want to Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's, uh, 
first of all, it was an awesome experience. Mm -hmm. um, being able to have the freedom to, one, like we could just focus on fixing and balancing the game, and then we could immediately, you know, within a week's time, basically, yeah. get the build in the hands of our players, mm. and then immediately see feedback, right? Yeah. Like we're talking the Division Forums, Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, everywhere. Twitch, Twitter, like all these yeah. mediums, right? Like mm -hmm. emails even from yeah. people. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic to get such like feedback so quickly, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So and it's then almost like in real it for time. The next week and yeah, like, exactly. And, and also the fact that see it, the reactions. it's a public space, mm -hmm. so none of what we're doing for the next patch was secret. So we could have a yeah. dialogue. We could talk That's to people. True. We could talk to people on the forums and on Twitter and whatever. And just get a, a real time dialogue with our players. I think that was really cool. Like looking back um, to when we did that, one of the first streams where we showed like time to kill and time to be killed. Yeah, and, right. And seeing how people reacted to that was really really cool. And then um, and then well let, let's be honest like week one people were you know super stoked with and this is the the whole process this yeah. is, this is what it should be and then week two there were things that people were less happy with which is great because it's on a PTS yeah. So we want, we want those things to happen because I yeah. feel like if you have a PTS and people are just saying, this is good, this is good all the time, you kind of want to identify what's not good so you don't do that when you release live, right? I'm, yeah, I'm assuming I'm not... I'm not yeah, and it's going to it. swing back and forth because you've got to test your boundaries, but the changes were smaller and smaller each week and I yeah. think we're pretty right. happy with what we're putting out for 1.4. For the most part, for like what we could do within this yeah. time span. Yep. I think, exactly. uh, and you alluded to it just a second ago, um, that this is an ongoing process. Mm. And like, yes, the PTS is something we'd like to do in the future as well for 1.5 and, and survival and these sorts of things. And I know people have been asking about survival a lot. I'm very, very excited about survival. I've talked about this many, many times. Me I too. Am too. <laughs> <laughs> but we aren't talking about survival today. No. But now that 1.4 release date and 1.4 is coming out very, very soon, Guess what we're going to be talking about next? Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. Uh, did he announce a date? Yes. Okay, so Hex at Grind, if you missed it. Uh, and for people who are just tuning in now, um, it is... Tuesday. October 25th. Yep, yeah. October 25th. Tuesday. And it's going to be a maintenance from 9.30 to 12.30 our time. Yeah. And I'm going to do some quick conversions. That's 3.30 a.m. Yep. EST. Uh, 12.30 like, PST. Yeah, 12.30 yeah. PST. Yeah. Australia and New Zealand, I'm sorry, I, I have not forgotten about you, my friends, but mm -hmm. <laughs> my brain will not work right now. Someone in chat will do it. Yeah. Uh, yes, there you go. Turn the studio lights on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of dark in here, but mm -hmm. sorry. It's kind of it's it's romantic, Melma, right? We're trying to be... It's because like, Melma's dark. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's true. I mean, it's, it's, it's depressing weather outside. I need some more lights, but mm -hmm. there you go. That's, that, no, but, that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then... Uh, yeah, chat's going through it. 8.30 uh, GMT. That's good. Uh, but yes, that's cool. Japan, I have, I have no idea. <laughs> There's so many different ones. Um, Frederick, obviously, you're working on the weapon side of things. People are asking, um, you know, M1A, where does it sit now? The SVD, where does it sit now? What's kind of been your thought process behind some of the weapons? Well, obviously... Well, not maybe obviously. So there's <laughs> there's there's this balance between functionality and and raw power that we're trying to reach this time around. Yeah. That, that's sort of why you see something like the SVD. Week one, people were going, "Why is it so low in damage?" And now they're saying, "Ah, it's probably one of the better marksman mm -hmm. rifles because there's a lot of functionality to being really stable." For instance, so we've yeah. tried to hit that personality equals power um, with all of the weapons. Yeah. There's going to be adjustments to come. There's mm -hmm. going to be things that are best in slot, yeah. um, and we'll we'll look at that for the next patch. Yeah, of course. I mean, th that's yeah. the thing. Like, uh, it, people are already trying to predict what this meta is going to be. Right. Yeah. I don't think people quite know just yet. I mean, obviously yeah. the PTS has kind of highlighted some things. Yeah. But Indeed. metas definitely need time to shift and then consolidate, which is something that the PTS hasn't really had time to show. Um, but it'd, it'd be very interesting, and obviously you guys are watching that very closely to see what yep. we can do for uh, 1.5 and that sort of thing. Uh, just so people know, 1.5 and survival, which are going to be next on the horizon after 1.4, it's going to be a similar structure to what happened with Underground. 1.5, that portion of it is free to everyone at the same time. And then survival comes on Xbox and PC mm -hmm. first, and then PlayStation um, afterwards. But that's, yeah, 1.5 and survival, remember those are separate things. But they're kind mm -hmm. of tied at the same time. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing. But remember what happened on the underground, and that's your that's your kind of roadmap for that sort of thing. Um, 
Drew, in, in your opinion, what are some of the best changes? Obviously, the world tier system is kind of, I guess, your baby and, and people on your team. But yeah. um, what, uh, what apart from world tiers? Because it's not going to give you that, like, low, low <laughs> oh, the world tiers are the best thing in, in 1.4. Apart from that, what do you think are some of the best things coming in 1.4? Well, world tiers, a lot of stuff is involved with okay, that. Okay. But if okay, you can, you can go down that road. And I'll I feel like I'm maybe cheating much. a little bit okay. when I just say time to kill. Mm. Uh, so... Like, to me, like, my, my kind of favorite part of 1.4 has really been the time to kill yeah. uh, changes. Because, I, you know, at 1.3, especially when you started reaching 35 enemies mm -hmm. and 34 enemies. Yeah, it I mean, kind of ridiculous. Yeah, and like, like Butter, for example, had a YouTube video the other day yeah. of him playing 1.3 <laughs> in the Dark Zone. Saying farewell I know he's to playing it. it last night, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's like, <laughs> but oh, I wanna... man, like, such a difference from 1.4. Yeah. Like, we kind of forgot how, like, spongy, you know, yeah. those... But I want to remind you also, and this is your personal work, about the, uh, just the intelligence and behavior of the... Uh, Elite enemies in the game. Oh just yeah. Just, there's a, just a lot of little shooter core skill changes to how they behave that yeah, should make true. the game a lot more fun and uh, maintain challenge while reducing their health. Yeah, that was that was definitely fun to do as well. I mean, yeah. like being able to try to ratchet up the mm. the challenge a bit. You know, have the enemies flank yeah. a bit more, um, move to cover, stick to cover, yeah, yeah. kind of suppress some of the you know kind of. We put some like intentionally dumb behaviors in. For example, with the yeah. rioters, they kind of wander out. Yeah. They're like, oh, I don't know how to because use they were the first guys you encounter yeah, exactly. in the game, so right, they should because be easier. They were kind of the the early game faction and stuff like that. But. Nice. Uh, you guys are killing yeah. the momentum of this update by staggering it for PS4 users. Says uh, River Ray Five One Two. No, it's not staggered. It's not, uh, One point four, just to clarify, is coming out for all platforms. Same time. On PC. Yeah, yeah. Xbox One. PS4 at the same time. It costs yeah. nothing. You will log in and you will be prompted to down, download 1.4. Yeah. And that's it. And for okay. the people mentioning, and that might not be in the patch notes all the time, but there's so many little things like performance and stutters and stuff that have been addressed as well. It's not just a design change of the game. There's a lot of code work that's gone into it. So mm -hmm. I think, think you'll be pleased. Yes, I think so. I definitely think so too. Someone, someone actually pointed out for the first time ever, the, the sign behind you, which says, sorry, we're closed. If anyone can, oh. uh, I'll give you guys a few minutes. But I actually put that there strategically. <laughs> no one knows this. Um, because it references one of my favorite talking show segments. I don't know why people have a favorite talking show segment, but I, I have one. <laughs> That's um, nerdy in a special way. It's, yeah, it's yeah. nerdy in a special way. If you can pick the, um, the talk show that that references, you're a genius. I'll give you a moment, and, and then I'll spoil it. <laughs> um, the biggest surprise for you guys, um, for either from the community or from, from 1.4, actually, before we get to that, one of the things that um, I kind of was thinking while you guys were talking, Time to Kill is linked to so many things. Yeah. Right? Obviously, yeah. it affected health on kill, <laughs> like that. Yeah. yeah. Those sorts of things. There's a lot of ripple effects. Exactly. It, it affected ammo in a big way. Yes. It, it affected how strong the the gear set bonuses can be allowed to be. Totally. Yep. I, I think, and if we're being honest, ammo, um, we did a, a thing where we doubled it, and then we cut that doubled in half. But this is what I was alluding to before. Is 1.3 going through week, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, we have lowered the ammo in a that time bit. frame. But compared to 1.3, mm -hmm. it's a lot more. Yeah. And it's even more relatively, when you compare it to the amount of bullets it takes you to You don't need as yeah, many exactly. bullets. So exactly. ammo is much, much uh, bigger. I mean, to the point where I was running Alpha Bridge uh, solo and doing challenging underground. And not running and using out? One, yeah. one ammo type, and, and I wasn't running out. Yeah, good. So that's yeah. kind of a, yeah. a pretty good spot. Yeah, that's cool. I, I wasn't close to running out. So I don't foresee ammo being a problem. I even did the other thing that was what would be the biggest ammo suck solo, um, the hardest weekly HVT mm -hmm. solo. Yeah. In tier Using four. Alpha Bridge? Using Alpha Bridge. Oh, so, okay. And I still didn't run out of ammo. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't think we have really any problems there. Um, but maybe people disagree. Yeah. Again, but, these but, are things but the to look at the But the biggest surprise, yeah. I think the biggest surprise, i got to be honest, and this, this is touching the country, was the amount of engagement, especially week two, week three, around... You know, loot and difficulty and all of that. It just showed me how much people still care and how much people were invested in helping us doing this patch. Yeah. yeah. Just seeing that royal on the internet. Yeah, uh, the, the conversation has really changed. 
yeah. which has been really cool. And not in a way where we've like artificially changed the conversation and like no. duped you guys. That's, that's the cool part about this. We've done the opposite. We've shown you 100% what's going on. Uh, and you guys have been really constructive and involved. And I guess I want to thank everyone for being part of what I'm sure is going to be a really, really cool update coming out on, on Tuesday. Yeah. It's, it's really positive. It's, uh, yeah. I don't know, if, like the whole tone in the office as well. Everyone's like super psyched for 1.4. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you but very much. 3,000 3, viewers? This is crazy. It's pretty good. <laughs> what? What's going on? Yeah. Yes. But yeah, it does. It, it was super nice, though, I think, in, in terms like it wasn't. It was surprising in some ways, I guess, like to me, just to kind of piggyback of what you're mm -hmm. saying, like how supportive everyone was like through the PTS process, because I mean, it, it was new for us. Yeah. Right. And it was new to a lot of people as well. Mm -hmm. And so just having people like just go with the flow and try out new changes, like we, we swung damage a little bit too far back and then we swung it back up and just mm -hmm. having people like be able to say, yeah, this is a public <laughs> test server. Things are going to change. I and, can deal with that. And people didn't give up and just go, oh, I'll wait for it. Yeah, yeah exactly. They just like yeah. stuck yeah, in I mean, there, that, play the that content. That to me was really surprising. I mean, yeah. that was that yeah. showed so like thank you. diligence yes. and passion and like it was really cool. cool I to mean, see. we we did um, kind of add a lot of server capacity for this because we knew it would be pretty prop popular. Yeah. Um, especially given the state of one point. But the initial plan was for one server shard. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, right, and then right. like, oh, Some guys, people will play. Guys, we need we need more. <laughs> right. uh, can we can we get more? Uh, yeah. So that that was really really cool. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you guys is, um, well, for one, it's interesting to me, uh, weapons guy. What mm. is your favorite weapon? And uh, in, uh, in you can't say MG5. Well, I am a little bit in the future. I see people requesting all kinds of weapons there on the chat. They're talking about their favorite weapons, mm -hmm. and there will be weapons in the future. My current favorite weapon, I run probably a police M4. You, you like it? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I run that. Um, Are I you think, stacking any kind of stability stuff? On yeah, it? yeah, okay. sure, but I'm also running <laughs> like a, some two pieces from gear sets to get my stability and accuracy for okay. that. Yeah, I like the police M4. I didn't know that was, that's, that's actually my weapon. Mm -hmm. There you Commodity go. Mod with stability. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's. <laughs> but I, I think we are both kind of we like the assault rifle category because yeah, yeah. we like the the shooter, yeah. like the recoil and all of that. We like yep. that that challenge. Yep. Yeah. I was using an LVOAC yesterday, leveling up. Obviously but, great. But yep. level, I was playing it leveling uh, up in <clears throat> one point four, mm -hmm. and it felt similar to how it felt in one point three, and I was like, that's actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like it feels powerful, but like you actually have to. Yeah. Um, I was like burst firing it, even though it's not a burst fire. Mm -hmm. Right. Like was, that was that was cool. Feels really good. People are offering their suggestions for what they like. Bow and arrow? Oh, man. Bow, bow and arrow. arrow. That's always been my dream for Okay, I've got to go and work on something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Here's the thing. Uh, bow and arrow isn't planned right now. No. But uh, this is the thing. We, uh, we can now move uh, past 1.4 and into the future. And, and uh, this kind of community involvement is really, really cool. Someone saying M44, best gun in the game. I love the M44. I also like yeah. the covert SRS now. Yes, I yes, both before. of them. Yes, it was the SRS got a, before, but a it got a buff, a pretty hefty <laughs> buff. Though. I mean, but the thing is, you can you can make um, guns that have high one shot damage mm -hmm. if the game doesn't allow for unkillable snipers and unkillable shotgunners. So that's yeah. what we'll be looking out for that, and we'll be yeah. looking out at the PvP balance going forward. But yeah. I just feel like there's you can, you can have those type of builds. Yeah, that's one of the things to mention. While the PvP meta has changed mm -hmm. wildly, and no, yeah. not yet because it's PTS, but in the live game it will change wildly, uh, there has been no dedicated PvP pass in mm. 1.4. No. Right. There are a lot of things that affect it, all of the, the way that gear works now and the way yeah. uh, the world tier system um, works. I mean, okay, world tier system and dark zone tier system, different. Okay, you can't choose your yes. dark zone tier. Right. There was some confusion over that because mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. world tier one, but in 205 but plus. But the, yeah. like, the buckets are a bit more balanced, right? Yeah. Like the, yeah. like the brackets themselves. Exactly. But, so. but I mean, what we, we really felt like we have to make the base of the game first because you do bring every RPG stat into the dark zone. Yeah. Yep. So we have to rebalance the core of the game and then we can, on top of that, look at what the PvP meta is mm. once the game is live. Because you got to remember, people play differently when it's their actual live character than on a test server where there are no consequences. Oh, so, so you need yeah. to, you need to observe the real PvP meta as people use their live characters and then adjust accordingly. Absolutely. Exactly. Someone was asking, uh, and this has been a, a big thing, obviously, Xbox lag. Uh, there's some things to clarify there. There are some client changes that need mm -hmm. to come in 
well, for everyone, but uh, it affects Xbox a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of people are confused, like, when I'm freezing, like, is it server lag? Is it up? It's yeah. happening in your client. That's why we haven't been able to address it until this client update. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we would have, that would have been a server-side priority, but mm -hmm. we, we can't, unfortunately. And some things have to happen both on client and server, the even if yeah, the server is involved. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but Indeed. those those sorts of performance issues, 1.4 will address those. Yeah, um, a lot of them. And a, a lot, lot of, of them. other yeah. performance issues, like mm -hmm. uh, you should, yeah, on, on PC and PS4 as well. Right. Now on PS4 too. Yeah. yeah, but the the dark zone. There's a couple places in the dark zone that were causing some lag spikes. That Absolutely. Were fixed and the, I mean, there's a lot of that stuff. And, yeah, Damien was saying like there's yeah. been uh, obviously some that like, we're continuing to work on Snowdrop throughout this whole process. And, yeah. Uh, I think he had like something I, I don't know an arbitrary number sixty lights per tile that he could use, and then because some of the things have changed in Snowdrop, he can now be like, oh, I can uh, increase those. Yeah. Those yeah. So, but, uh, super cool. But that's what happened. We saw that we needed to rebalance the game from a design perspective, but the whole production is involved in this, right? So that mm -hmm. means that programmers, people doing performance, QC, everybody have been just working on this patch. Like, mm -hmm. we put everything else on hold, yeah. which means that all of those other things that aren't as visible in a state of the game mm -hmm. have been worked on, yeah. too. And, and those are like the silent heroes up there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. The, all the engineers and everything that have done improvements for this patch, yeah. too. Well, uh, the other things, before, before we head off, I mean, we'll, we'll continue to take, take some questions from chat. Mm -hmm. uh, but people are also asking, like, uh, um, add a P90 to the game. Like, obviously, we did say, that people did see the secret MG5 happen, uh, which was a complete mistake. Like, that, that gun never existed, like I said before. Like, it's... Uh, but, but it sort of confirms that, yeah, there will be new guns at some point. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you look at... Um, and this is me speculating. I don't know anything. I have Frederick here, so I'm going to see how far I can push him. <laughs> but the MG5 was in the E3 build. It was. Was it? Yeah. I, I listened. Uh, I was like listening back oh, to the podcast. Um, you know how the blind rifle was in that build, too. Yeah. Right. Um, the MG5 was also in that build. Because mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. I listened back to the podcast I did with Boomslang and Skill Up, and we uh, talked about that. I don't know if Skill Up has referenced that in any of his videos, but he we talked about it. Do you not hmm. remember? Uh, the MG5 was in there. The M700 was in there. Mm. I'm just saying. I don't know what it means. <laughs> so, and and just just to give people an idea, we don't. The way it works is a long process to make a gun, and the first thing mm. that happens is that someone makes a model, and we put it into the game to see how it works, and it just mm. is basically a new model version of an old gun, and that might sneak into some builds, but that's the first of a lot of steps to make mm -hmm. a functional in-game weapon. And so that's why early versions of things look great and mm -hmm. sneak into builds, but they sometimes have a lot of work left on them. Okay. And that's what happened with those guns. Like, that's why the MG5 was just broken OP, and the, mm -hmm. the blind rifle was crazy, too, yeah. back, back then. And th that's why you might see some early stuff where you might data mine some stuff. Hi, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <but laughs> that doesn't mean we're withholding them. That means that we're yeah. working on it and we're not spending time scrubbing it away from the build to avoid data miners. We we just basically, we're working on stuff constantly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and obviously people speculating for lots of different guns, P90, AK-12. I'm not a... like. There's, a, there's a bunch of people that have said weapons and they're right. Ooh, I'm not going to say who. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, some people, I saw some people say like UMP. And these sorts of things. Again, you don't have to commit to anything. <laughs> but um, I, the UMP is what? An SMG? Yeah, right. maybe. And the M700 <laughs> is a bolt action sniper? Mm -hmm. I'm learning things. There mm -hmm. you go. Wow. I didn't know all these things about guns. Wow. Okay, that's my favorite guy. The, ro the guy that just says rocket launcher. Oh, rocket launcher. <laughs> rocket launcher, yeah. <laughs> Anytime uh, people Rail bring gun. up like, guns and stuff, mm, I just yeah. think back to like golden eye yeah. days, yeah. and I'm like, dude. We need remote mines or proxy mines. Yeah. Like, you I know what we don't need, though? Kind of like we don't need the club. The no. club was the worst. <laughs> you hated the club? It's the worst. Oh, okay. Was that the one but that was just like... Yeah, yeah. All right. But on a serious yeah. note, the, the, the rebalancing means that we have like a, a pretty good meta in which to insert new content, like mm -hmm. guns and stuff like that, and new talents, because yeah. new talent on a new gun doesn't have to compete with deadly, brutal, fierce. All right. Right? Cool. Um, Yes, and that's one of the things. The other thing we didn't get to do, well, you didn't get to do, I didn't, you know, it's not me, but um, named weapons, I mean, mm. they have been rescaled, um, but they haven't um, been redone. Yeah, and I'm, right? I can say that that's like one of the things that is one of our big regrets that we never got to do mm. named weapons, exotic weapons, whatever you want to call them, right? But we will. We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we that, will that, do that's it. That's something on your, yeah. like, on your list of Yeah, tools. it's my All bucket right. list for. Cool. 
Sorry. I can't promise when, but uh, the, what did happen was a, some really good threads mm -hmm. on our forums and on Reddit about wish lists of what people think the, yeah. Yeah. those guns should be. Yeah. And I can tell you, I, I've copied that text. I have it on my desktop. <laughs> so many of those things were good suggestions. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the things, actually, that kind of leads on to the, some of the last questions that I had. And again, I would preface this with this is absolutely non-committal, um, but obviously 1.4 is a limited scope. In game development, you have to limit the scope, otherwise you will never <laughs> you can't get it out. anything, right? Yeah. Um, what were some of the things that you would like to look at for the future? Mm. Obviously named weapons and, the, and those sorts of things. Uh, what do you feel like... Uh, I mean, immediately for next patch, I'm going to be looking at gear set and weapon usage and seeing mm -hmm. if something is really disliked or mm -hmm. really not powerful enough mm -hmm. or really too annoying or overpowered and, and see what we do with those things. So that's like the boring stuff. Mm -hmm. But just being able to add something into a functional meta, add new guns or mm -hmm. gear or whatever into a meta that, that works okay. is going to be a pleasure. Without yeah. committing either way, what gun would you like to see in the division? I'm pushing what, this. Well, what gun I'd like to see in the yeah, division? Okay. I don't know. I, people are calling Can you say that? I, I don't know because then that will be a promise. All right. Okay. I want to see the pulse rifle from Aliens. Right. Oh, okay. okay yeah. You can say it because you, well, you don't actually. Yeah. <laughs> you don't make <laughs> it. Up to you. All the right. pulse rifle from Aliens. But, sure. Um, moving forward, though, to, yeah. to answer your question, another yeah. thing I think that, um, no commitment, of course, but I would really like to look at is how we. Like we need to evaluate kind of what the hardest content in our game, the most difficult mm -hmm. content in our game, looks like for our most hardcore players, yeah. and see if that matches the experience that they want. Right? Yeah. I think. Is that see if there's right? enough of it. Um, because if there's not, yeah. then we need to maybe explore ways mm -hmm. moving forward, sure. like of giving those players the toughest challenge that mm -hmm. they really want. Right. But appropriate rewards as well, right? Because you don't yeah, want to absolutely. have that situation where people are like, well, I'm never going to be that hardcore. I can't get this thing. But how do you make people yep. feel elite and hardcore exactly. without um, yeah. you know, shutting people right. like myself, like you know, the mid-tier players, out from getting those, yep. those rewards? Totally, right? totally. Um, so, so it's, it's a big it's part true. of the equation. But, but, yeah, it, cool. but the way the game yeah. works now, the new philosophy of being able to get everything but just at different paces i really think we have a good setup for yeah. doing you know really hardcore activities or really casual activities yeah. Yeah, i think we have a good foundation fits in there yeah and i also just want hats hats more give, hats give me give me like uh, the the most amazing pom pom beanie and uh, for clearing <laughs> yeah. like i mean the, yeah. some kind of like super mega heroic encoding. Yeah. the inside I'm joke down. i'll do it all day the inside joke is that the hardest thing in the game to get should be a flappy hat with a pom pom whoa yeah, well, I don't know. and on that bombshell. Wow. <laughs> right. that bombshell. Again, not confirmed. Yeah, not confirmed. Uh, people, yeah, raids is something that people are mm. talking about. Uh, pay rise for Drew. I, I'll sign off on hey, that. Hey, all right, all yeah. right, cool, Get done, <laughs> done. You need pumpkins. I mean, that was something that people brought up. You know, like yeah. can we do seasonal content? Yeah, and right. like, yeah, we would love to do those sorts of things. You know, yeah. Halloween. Stuff, but um, it's more important right now. Christmas. That, um, yeah, Christmas. <laughs> there, uh, I we, think we, there's I think we already Christmas. did this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it'd be really cool. But right now, uh, what we have to focus on is the the health of the game in general. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want Absolutely. to, you know, put all our time into creating pumpkin heads um, and not fix Xbox stuttering, for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. Even though those are totally not the same people no, doing no, 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 that no, job. No, exactly. But, yeah, yeah. You know, but that's, yeah. That's, there's, that's there's money. Oh, look, there's that. sun. Oh my God, it's sunny in Sweden. No, no, no. That's some <laughs> reflection off of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's something yeah, going so, on. And, and one thing mm -hmm. I really like once 1.4 is out to just have us join a server at some point and have a massive manhunt on us developers in the mm. dark zone. I, I'll be we'll there. Be destroyed. I'll I'll be there on Tuesday. <laughs> you can just you can just run me down. I don't yeah. honestly. I honestly don't even think we'd reach manhunt. Level. No, we no. Get five kills. No. We'll yeah, get like, yeah. oh, they've gone rogue. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> yeah. right. They should be right. <laughs> they've gone rogue, and yeah. they did. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, any news on double XP events? So we did try that out in the PTS. Sure. It's yeah. really, really cool. Yeah. Um, we will do those things. We don't want to do that. Uh, the double XP event right away at the start because it doesn't make sense, right? Because then it yeah. destroys Drew's world tier system. <laughs> but people also oh, have a lot. so hard. People have a lot of adjusting to do. People have a lot of currency yeah, built yeah. up that they can buy caches for. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. There,
and doing activities that you like but that didn't use to give you anything. Yep. Just go do whatever you like yeah. in the game and it'll exactly. give you stuff. Yeah, I, I'm on that HVT buzz. Mm -hmm. It's super yeah. cool. HVT yeah. is fun. Um, you can just solo it. I'm, I'm, awesome. I'm walking around farming world bosses. Yeah. That's me. Well, yeah. You can do both. Yeah. You can like, go get some yeah. world bosses, sure. clear some search and destroys, mm -hmm. and then uh, do those HVTs because you get so much good loot from it. And uh, yeah. you can do it all yourself, which is mm -hmm. cool. Uh, all right, guys. It looks like it's 12 o'clock now, which means that it's time for us to go because uh, we got to now actually get this thing out on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So... We I do. think we should probably, I, people would probably like us to do that. Uh, anyway, you guys, think? I think so. Yeah, sure. I think so. So let's do Maybe. that. Um, again, people, you, if you've just tuned in and you feel like you've missed something, you can watch the past broadcast or you can uh, go and find us on SoundCloud later today. I've got to like take the audio and then reformat it for the podcast. Um, or maybe you're listening to the podcast now and this is like weird inception <laughs> thing happening. But that's it for today. All right. All right. Get ready for Tuesday. Thank you. Yeah. Use your weekend to farm currency, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I think that's Probably. the best thing to do. And yep. performance mods. Yeah, cap out your Phoenix yep. credits. I'm going to try and cap out target intel on all my characters. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. There you uh, go. And all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. All right, any other tips, guys, before we head off? Performance mods.